Um, I will have a voice, as I say, in my, uh, my pocket. Uh, I'll do one that I've never had a chance to do for a job before. Um, and uh, when I first started cataloging my voices, I had one of those little mini cassette recorders. Remember those? Little cute little tapes, remember? Those are the best, you know? I, that's one reason I bought them. I just look at it, it's like munchkin size, you know? So, <laughs> so I started uh, writing down the names of the characters, the qualities, how I did them, and then I recorded them in order so that I could remember and, and do all those. Uh, this one character I decided to do is, uh, he has the voice of like a mafia hitman. Okay, and I want you to listen carefully and see if you know that this is Paul St. Peter. As you see, when, uh, when you're walking down the street and somebody's walking towards the boss, uh, you might do something disrespectful. Uh, so uh, you got to handle it. Understand? Uh, wow. Does that sound like me? No. That's something I hear all the time. People will see, you know, I, I have placards I put on on my autograph table um, of different characters I've done, and this happens almost every con. Somebody walks up and they see Wormmon, and they see Xemnas and they go, <laughs> no way. <laughs> and then they see Wormmon and Xemnas and punch. And they go, no, 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 no. <laughs> they will not believe that it's the same person. Whereas there are uh, voice actors that you listen to, you can kind of hear their voice in the quality of what they're doing. Uh, you can kind of pick it out. It's a different quality and they do all sorts of different things with it, but you can kind of pick it out. My characters, uh, people refuse to believe until I actually perform them, okay? Now, uh, all of you's got uh, a sharp ear now from what you've been listening to. Um, what am I doing here to change my voice? What am I doing? Uh, no, the placement itself, the chest placement, uh, uh, hasn't that hasn't really changed. No. There is a, a whispery quality, isn't there? Yeah. You know that Zemnis is all whisper, almost all whisper. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most frightening voices I do. I really thought about it. But it's almost all whisper. Yeah. Um, you're on the right track there in the back, young lady. Okay. Um, as far as what you were hearing in terms of that I was chasing the play, I'm chasing, sorry, changing the placement, okay? Because somebody else said uh, something about strained. Yeah. That is a strained quality. What I'm doing is taking my vocal cords and I'm kind of pushing them together. You're not supposed to do that, it's bad for you, all right? <laughs> you know? What else are you hearing? It's a dialect. Very good. So one element of doing this is you gotta sound like you're from someplace else. Gabish. Betcha. Betcha. Everything but Gabish. I'm just gonna think about Gabish. Gabish, you understand? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I don't get it. So what else? <laughs> Those of you that know Resident Evil 5, look in the credits. You will see my name um, as a zombie, and I was speaking Swahili. When I tell you about the, uh, the advanced sort of stuff that brings you up to the professional level, you got to have all sorts of abilities, okay? I was speaking uh, Swahili. It's very close to Zulu. I do speak some Zulu, so I just was able to do Swahili in the same way. But I didn't speak Swahili like this, okay? So you're hearing what? An accent? It's a dialect. It's a dialect is the way you speak your own language. An accent's the way you speak a foreign language. That's the technical thing, you know? You never hear a guy like this, you know? Because my name is Angelo Caspadori, okay? You don't hear a guy like Angelo teaching linguistics, you know? 